technically driven or techn technically students, technology students that can support these industries. Secondly, Ogu State has 11 tertiary universities, uh, tertiary institutions, and most of these tertiary institutions, very few of them are universities of technology. So this bill is really up in transforming the Federal Polytechnic in Larry into a Federal University of Technology, which will enable the students to meet the demands of the future. That is what we are trying to do. I think it's definitely a bill that is apt and a bill that will add value to a, for a lot of these students and also help the country in our drive to develop more of technolo te technological-based economy. So, Mr. Uh, President, distinguished colleagues, I am in support of this bill that has been jointly sponsored and I hope my colleagues will approve it. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Pim. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I am Michael Okpeyemi Bamidele. I represent the Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, it's really uh, my pleasure, and I'm indeed I'm happy to also add my voice in calling for support for this bill. And historically, Mr. President, I am particularly interested in this because having been privileged to serve as a member of the Cabinet of Lagos State for 11 and a half years as Honorable Commissioner under two different governors. I am very familiar with the link between the communities of the two sponsors of this bill, uh, our colleagues representing Lagos West and our colleagues representing Ogun West. And I say also for the record that the two senatorial districts as communities share boundaries. And part of the reason why I also believe this bill should get our support is that having a Federal University of Technology in Ilaro will also continue to serve the purpose of helping to raise the necessary human capital development and providing human resources for Lagos which has continued to be a major commercial hub, you know, for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, so in this uh, respect, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, I want to say that I'm happy to be a part of this, and I thank you for the uh, privilege of also making a contribution, and I urge all our colleagues to support this bill. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Is there anybody against the, the bill? Those in favor that the bill be now read a second time say aye. Those against any, the ayes have it. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, the Sungu Senators, a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of Federal University of Technology, Laro, to make comprehensive provision for its due management and administration, and for other matters connected there with 2020, SB 84, second read. A bill, a bill for an act to establish a bill for an act to establish the Federal University of Education, ANPA, Kogi State, and for related matters 2020. Second reading. Sorry? Ilaro, sorry. A bill for an act, pardon me please, a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of Federal University of Technology, Ilaro, to make comprehensive provisions for its due management and administration, and for other matters connected to 2020, taken and the bill is referred to the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Product within four weeks. Leader of the Senate. So President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the fifth order of the day is the presentation and consideration of the report of the Committee on Health on the Mental Health and Substance Abuse Bill 2020. The two senators will recall that the bill was referred to the Committee on Wednesday, 20th November 2019. Mr. President, we must invite the distinguished Senator Ibrahim Yahaya Oloregbe, Chairman of the Committee, to move the motion for the presentation and consideration of the report.
Nisongwe Senator Ibrahim Yahya Oluragbe. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, Ibrahim Yahya Oluragbe, Wara Central. Uh, Mr. President, I rise to move that the study do receive and consider the report of the Committee on Health on the Mental Health and Substance Abuse Bill 2020, SB 66. I so move, Mr. President. I need a second. Senator Tolu or Devi. Mr. President, distinguished police, arise to second the, uh, the bill, the motion moved by my distinguished colleague to present the report of the Committee on Health. Uh, to repeal the Lunacy Act cap laws of Nigeria. I so second. Thank you. The Swedish colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the Senate receives and considers the report of our Committee on Health, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Chairman, you lay the report, please. Chairman, you may present the report. But what is the report? Mr. President, distinguished colleague, I rise to present the report of the Committee on Health for an act for a beef and now to repeal the Lunacy Act Kafatu of Nigeria to establish a mental health department to promote and protect the rights of persons with mental health conditions and persons with intellectual, psychosocial, or cognitive disability and to provide the enhancement and regulation of mental health services in Nigeria. <coughs> uh, Mr. President, with your permission, I will just highlight uh, part of the report that I sent you. Uh, no, go ahead. for a coherent, rational, and unified response to the delivery of mental health service in Nigeria, to promote and protect the fundamental human rights and freedom of all persons with mental health conditions, and ensure that their rights are guaranteed, to ensure a better quality of life through access to an integrated, well-planned, effectively organized, and efficiently delivered mental health care service in Nigeria and to repeal the Lunacy Act of 1964, which is archaic in the management of mental health conditions in Nigeria, and whose provision infringed fundamental rights of persons suffering from mental health conditions. Uh, Mr. President, having gone through all the legislative process, including receipt of uh, submissions and public hearing, uh, the committee, I'm now going to the final part of the report, sir found an observe as follows, that the consensus of opinion of stakeholders at the public hearing favor the repeal of the extant law, the Replacement Act, and the enactment of the new bill. The Lunacy Act enacted in 1964 is a cake and long overdue for repeal. That the bill in its current form, if passed into law, will address the gap it had created by the old act 
in the treatment and management of mental health in Nigeria, including the fundamental human right of access of persons to healthcare services. And the proposed legislation did not create or establish any new agency or commission that will attract extra budgetary funding by the federal government of Nigeria. The Committee on Health, to which the bill was referred to, therefore recommend as follows, that a bill for an act to repeal the Lunacy Act, Cal 524 laws of Nigeria, to establish a mental health department, to promote and protect the right of persons with mental health conditions and persons with intellectual, psychological, or cognitive disability, and to provide for the enhancement and regulation of mental health with Nigeria, having considered the same report, accordingly recommend that the bill, that the Senate do consider and pass the bill. I so move, Mr. President. Any comments? Leader of the Senate, Committee of the Hall. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I rise to move a motion for the Senate to resolve in the Committee of the Hall to consider the report. I so move. Panelty Leader. Mr. President, I rise to second the motion that the Senate resolves in the Committee of the Hall for consideration of this report. The so much colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the Senate resolves into the Committee of the Hall to consider the report close by close say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the aye side. This is not a controversial bill, so we take, um, we may take four or five clauses at a time, and there are 59 clauses in the bill. Those in favor that clauses one to five stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Clause 6 deals with the governing board of the commission. Those in favor that clauses 6 to 10 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the aye side.
Those in favor of clauses 11 to 15, stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against, say nay, they are Those in favor of clauses 15 to 20, stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against, say nay, they are Those in favor of clauses 21 to 25 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay the aye sir. Clauses 25 to 30. Those in favor of clauses 25 to 30 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay the aye sir. Those in favor that clauses start one to that five stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor that clauses 36 to 40 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Clauses 41 to 45, those in favor that clauses 41 to 45 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor that clauses 46 to 50 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor that clauses 51 to 55 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor that clauses 56 to 59 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Shadows. Those in favor that paragraph 1 stand part of the schedule say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Explanatory memorandum. Those who are the explanatory memorandum stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. The short title. Those who are the short title stands part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. The long title. On page one. Those who are the long title stands part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I rise to move the motion for the chair to resume progress, uh, to resume plenary in order to report progress. I so move. The motion has moved. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor that the Senate reverse the plenary for the chair to report progress, say aye. Those against, say nay, the aye, say aye. The Senate and the Committee of the Hall considered the report of the Committee on Health, on the Mental Health and Substance Abuse Establishment Bill 2020 and approved as follows, clauses 1 to 58 as recommended, schedule as recommended, explanatory memorandum as recommended, short title as recommended, long title as recommended. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Hall? Thank you. Senate. Mr. President, I write to move a motion for this bill to be read the third time. Minority Leader.
And so if those in favor of the motion that the bill be now read a third time, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished senators, a bill for an act to provide for the establishment and regulation of mental health and substance abuse services, protect persons whose mental health needs and establishment of National Commission for Mental and Substance Abuse Services for the Effective Management of Mental Health in Nigeria and for Other Related Matters 2020, SB 6-6, third reading. A bill for an act to provide for the establishment and regulation of mental health and substance abuse services, protect persons with mental health needs and establishment of National Commission for Mental and Substance Abuse Services for the effective management of mental health in Nigeria and for other related matters 2020, third, read the third time and passed. Congratulations. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the sixth order of the day is the presentation and consideration of the report of the Committee on Health on the Federal Medical Center in Gaza, Kaduna State Establishment Bill 2020. The two good senators, colleagues, will recall that the bill was referred to the committee on Tuesday, 17 December 2019. Mr. President, we wish to invite distinguished Senator Ibrahim Yahya Oloregbe, Chairman of the committee, to move the motion for the presentation and consideration of the report. Senator Yahya Ibrahim Oluragbe. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. Ibrahim Yahya Oluragbe, Para Central. Mr. President, I rise to move that the Senate will receive and consider the report of the Committee on Health on the Federal Medical Center at Gaza, Kaduna State, Establishment Bill 2020, SB 169. I so move, Mr. President. Any second? Senator Ovasani. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, my name is Senator Ovasani, representing Kona Central. I rise to succumb the motion ably moved by distinguished Senator Ibrahim Olorobe that the Senate do receive and consider the report of the Committee on Health on the Federal Medical Center in Gaza, Kona State. I so succumb, Mr. President. The Swedish colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the, the Senate receives and considers the report of our Committee on Health, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. You may let the report. Can I present the report, please? Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. Uh, this bill was read for the first time in the Chamber of the Senate on the 19th day of November 2019 upon its presentation by distinguished Senator Ubasani, Kaduna Central Central District. After the debate on the general principles of the bill, it was referred to the Senate Committee on Health on 17 December 2019 for further legislative action. The key objectives of the bill, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, is to bridge the existing gap between primary, secondary, and tertiary care delivery in Kaduna State and in turn in Nigeria in general to solve issues of accessibility and of to medical facilities, to support and provide enabling environment for medical training of personnel, to provide an efficient and cost-effective medical services to Nigeria, and to be able to promote 
research from time to time in this established center. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the committee uh, took several legislative actions on the bill, including a public hearing that was held on the 18th day of February 2017. The public hearing was well attended and received several submissions from several stakeholders. I proceed to our observations and findings, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, it is important to note that from the submission and presentation made at the public hearing and the subsequent consideration of the bill by the committee, we observe as follows that the consensus of opinion of stakeholders at the public hearing favored the establishment of the Federal Medical Center at the Gaza Kaduna State. That legislative intent behind the bill is commendable, and its passage by the Senate will complement the federal government effort in bringing health care closer to the people. That the establishment of the medical center will help to address the perennial problem of shortage of competent medical doctors and personnel, which has affected quality of health care delivery in Kaduna State and in general and the country in general that the passage of this legislative proposal will no doubt improve the quality of life of the people through broadening the employment opportunities and socioeconomic development of the area concerned. The committee for which the bill was referred to, having considered the report, accordingly recommend that the Senate do consider and pass the Federal Medical Center the Gasa Kaduna State Establishment Bill 2020. I so move on behalf of the committee members, Mr. President. Any, any comments? Leader of the Senate, Committee of the Hall. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I rise to the motion for the Senate to resolve into the Committee of the Hall to consider this report. Minority Leader. Mr. President, I rise to second the motion as moved. Mr. Wish, colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the Senate resolves into the Committee of the Hall to consider the report close by close, say aye. Those against any, the eyes have it. Distinguished colleagues, this bill has 28 clauses, unlike the previous one, it's also not a controversial one. So I will take uh, three, four clauses at a time. Those in the order clauses one to five stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have. Those in favor at clause 6 to 10 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor at clauses 11 to 15 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor at clauses 16 to 20 Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in order at clauses 21 
the 25 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes say. Those who hold that clause 26 to 28 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have. Those who hold that the schedule stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have. Those who hold that the explanatory memorandum stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have. The short title, those who voted the short title stands part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have. Those who voted the long title stands part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have. Read out the Senate. Sir President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I move that the chair reports progress. That's all move. Mr. Chairman, I rise to second that the Senate revert to plenary to report progress. Those in favor that the Senate reverse to plenary for the chair to report progress say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. The Senate and the Committee of the Hall consider the report of the Committee on Health on the Federal Medical Center in Gaza, Kaduna State, Establishment Bill 2020, and approved as follows. Clauses 1 to 27 as recommended, schedule as recommended, explanatory memorandum as recommended, short title as recommended, long title as recommended. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Hall? Yes. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, I rise to move a motion that the Federal Medical Center in Gasa Kaduna State Establishment Bill 2020 be now read the third time. I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. President, I second the motion as moved. Assembly colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the bill be now read a third time, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished senators, a bill for an act to provide for the legal framework to establish a federal medical center in Gaza, Kaduna State, and for related matters 2020, SB 169, third reading. A bill for an act to provide the legal framework to establish the federal medical center in Gaza, Kaduna State, and for related matters 2020, third reading, is read the third time and the bill is passed. Congratulations, Kaduna Central. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, Mr. President, Mr. Senators, the seventh order of the day is a motion, standing in the name of distinguished Senator Nicholas Olubukola Tofomo on the urgent need to compel all tertiary institutions in Nigeria to subscribe to e-validation of result portals for academic result verification. Mr. President, you may wish to invite distinguished Senator Nicholas Olubukola Tofomo to move the motion. Senator Nicholas Tofomo. Our Senate President, distinguished colleagues, um, Senator Nicholas Tofomo representing Ondo South. Urgent need to compel tertiary education institutions in Nigeria to subscribe to e validation of result portal for academic result verification. Note with deep regret that many supposed Nigerian graduates parade fake academic results, stroke certificates, and use are you saying to work in home country in Nigeria and as well in the diaspora? These fake certificates and the user positions that are not that are not qualified to occupy. Therefore, taking spaces, positions that are supposed to be occupied 
by qualified and genuine candidates. Further note that many unqualified and dubious people are riding on the seat of, on the seat of power with fake certificate results, even when the minimum qualification to run for the highest office in Nigeria is school certificate. I emphasize that suspected corrupt tertiary education institutions personnel are aiding and abetting this evil menace, which has been an embarrassment in Nigeria in the Committee of Nations. Concerned that Professor Abubakar Adamu Rashid, the Educational Secretary of the Nigerian Universities Commission, NUC, recently stated in this day newspaper on December 4, 2019, that about 100 fake professors were on, uncovered in our, in our higher institutions. And more concerned that tertiary education institutions in Nigeria are losing income on a daily basis for not subscribing to e-validation of result portal like WAEC, NECO, and JAMB. Accordingly resolved to, one, urge the Nigerian Universities Commission NUC to build and maintain, and maintain for all tertiary education institutions in Nigeria an e-validation portal to enable employers and relevant authorities or organizations within and outside Nigeria to verify and validate academic results, stroke certificates obtained from education tertiary institutions in Nigeria. Two, direct the Nigerian University Commission, NUC, to compare all, all tertiary education institutions in Nigeria to subscribe to the e-validation result portal proposed in one, in one above, like WAEC, NECO, and JAM, JAM, JAM portal to verify, authenticate, and validate result certificates obtained from examination bodies. Number three. All, all ministries, departments, and agencies that MDAs to use the portal as proposed in one above to check, verify, authenticate academic results, stroke certificates brought before them in the course of employment, stroke recruitment into respective offices. Thank you, Senate uh, President. Uh, thank you very much, Dusungush. But um, in your prayer too, what I have is authenticate and validate results certificates obtained from tertiary institutions. Have you amended that because you read examination bodies? Have you removed, deleted tertiary institutions and replaced eh? examination bodies? Okay. Any seconder? You are Senator Betty Apiafi. So, President, distinguished colleagues, my name is Betty Apiafi. I represent um, Rivers West Central District. I'm from River State. So, President, I want to thank uh, my own, uh, distinguished colleagues for bringing this all important motion at this time. This motion is so timely because we've been having too many cases of um, forged results in institutions in Nigeria. Even in the political arena, you've had issues of um, school certificate results, university certificate results that have challenges that have made so many people who have won elections lose their elections because of that. It is important, just like um, the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board has digitalized their processes, making the exam an online, I mean, um, a computer-based examination. It is important that results of all examination bodies, and in fact, even the higher institutions, as, as a matter of fact, be, be put in a portal so that when you're recruiting people 
or before you get into a university, there is a portal, there is information for you to authenticate any result before people are employed, before people are admitted into higher institutions. In most cases in our universities, when people get to their final year, it is then the university will discover that they didn't have the necessary six credits they needed to get admission. And you have a lot of students who now spend more years trying to get um, sort out those issues. So this portal will really come, come a long way to um, bring our educational institution to what it should be in the present day. So I support this motion and I hope all my colleagues I second this motion. I hope all my colleagues will um, support this motion. Thank you. We'll go to the prayers. Prayer one. Urge the Nigerian Universities Commission NUC to build and maintain for all tertiary institutions in Nigeria an e-validation portal to enable employers and other authorities or organizations within and outside Nigeria to verify and validate academic resource certificates obtained from tertiary institutions in Nigeria. Those in favor of prior one say aye. Those against say nay. I serve it. Prior two, direct the Nigerian Universities Commission NUC to compel all tertiary institutions in Nigeria to subscribe to the e-validation result portal proposed in one above, like the WAEC, NECO, and JAM portals to verify, authenticate, and validate result certificates obtained from examination bodies. Those in favor of prior two, say aye. Those against it. Sorry, amendment, Senator Ekon Eke. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Senator Koniyai. I want to amend uh, prayer two uh, that it should read, since it's a federal government, a federal ministry of education that uh, supervises uh, WAYEK, NECO, and then a JAM on its own. It should be the federal ministry of education, not the Nigerian University Commission that should urge all educational institutions as amended by uh, my distinguished colleague to subscribe to the e-validation um, result portal. That the Federal Ministry of Education should urge educational institutions in Nigeria to subscribe to the e-validation result portal instead of the tertiary at uh, the Nigerian University Commission. Um, I, I don't know whether the word compel, because this is supposed to be a policy. And if it is a policy, then the National Council on Education should be involved in this. That is the highest um, decision or policy making body of the educational sector in Nigeria. So you are right, Minister of Education. Compel is okay. I don't know whether that is the. Eh? Uh huh, compel. Okay. So I want someone to second the amendment. Yes, Senator Matthew Rogide. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to second the amendment as proposed. Those in favor of prayer two as amended, say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Prayer three, urge all ministries, departments, and agencies to use the portal as proposed in one above to check, verify, and authenticate academic results, certificates brought before them in the course of employment, recruitment into respective offices. Those in favor of prior three. Amendment, Senator Ibrahim Hayao Lurogbe. Thank you, Mr. President. I think since we are urging, it shouldn't be only the government MDAs. It should also be all employers of labor, for that matter, to do that verification. Any seconder? Yes, Senator Betty, APFE. 
Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to second the motion that the amendment should include all employers of labor. So second. Those in favor of prior three as amended say aye. Those against say nay the aye sir. Well thank you very much distinguished colleagues and with this motion we have uh, concluded everything in the order paper today and um, we will adjourn till next week. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, having concluded all the items on the agenda of today's order paper for today's proceedings, I rise to move that this Senate do adjourn to Tuesday, 8th December 2020 at 10 a.m. from Mr. President, I rise to second the motion that this Senate do stand adjourned for Tuesday, December 8th at 10 a.m. I saw second. Uh, there's, there's an announcement before I put the question from the Senate leader. I wish to formally announce the death of the wife of my predecessor, Mrs. Amaka Loretta Ndomegba, in a ghastly motor accident on the Ore Okiti Pupa Road on Thursday, 19th November 2020. Burial arrangements have been scheduled as follows. Date Sunday, 6 December 2020. Nights of songs and tributes. Venue Myra Event Center, 135 Mustafa Bello Street, Asokoro, Abuja, time 5 p.m. Date Wednesday, 9 December 2020. Require mass. Venue Church of Assumption, Asokoro, Abuja, time 4 p.m. Dead Friday, 11 December 2020, body leaves for Inugu, a route Ikom crossover state. Dead Saturday, 12 December 2020, interment after a funeral mass at the Queen of Peace Catholic Church at Parabong, Ikom, time 11 a.m. The single senators are by this announcement invited to be part of the funeral activity signed Senator Abdullah Yehaya, leader of the Senate. Um, with this, I'll put the question now. Those in favor of the motion moved by the leader and seconded by the minority leader that the Senate do adjourn to next week, Tuesday, the eighth day of December 2020 at 10 a.m. from CI. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. The Senate is hereby adjourned to Tuesday, 8 December 2020 at 10 a.m. from.